Hey, and welcome to another ZimWriter Academy training. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the new custom outline feature to write some different product reviews for Amazon products, although this could definitely apply for different products at other merchant websites. So let's dive in and get started. So here's the two products we're going to write about. We have a Shure SM7B microphone, and there's some product details, some more product information, and then some product reviews that ZimWriter will look at. And then we have a Logitech Blue Snowball 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 Ice Microphone. Product details, some more specs, and some product reviews. Normally in the Penny Arcade, you can put in your different URLs for these products. Now you're going to need Scrape Al if you want to do this. If you want to scrape Amazon stuff, you need Scrape Al. For other sites, you don't necessarily need Scrape Al. But for Amazon, you would. You can put these two URLs in here. And then ZimWriter will go to these pages and then scrape the data, summarize it, and then write an article. The problem is, if you just do this without a custom outline, you are going to get different subheadings about different things. And so the articles could potentially go in different directions. They're both going to recommend the product. The AI will do a good job of that, recommending the product. But maybe you want a, a custom format, a common format between all of these different articles. And that's where the custom outline will really help you. I'm going to click on custom outline. And, and I don't know if you watched the first training. This is the second training on the custom outline feature. The first training, I go a little bit more in depth into what this does. So definitely check that out. I'm going to try to link it below in the video description. But there's directions for this custom outline. You need to read the directions. This is a situation where you need to read the directions. Don't email me that you that your custom outline is not working because what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you the directions. You need to read this. You need to read it a couple times. You need to study this because this is a very advanced feature, immense amount of power, but it's very tricky if you don't use it correctly. So you need to understand how to use it properly. I, I pre-generated a couple different articles. Let me open up the first one. So this is, I use DaVinci for most of this stuff. And let's go to the other outline. So here's the outline I used. Oh, wait, this is for pizza. Let's go to Amazon. There we go. So I, I used key takeaways. You can see the key takeaways. The key takeaways would be this option right here. And I did, I enabled literary devices, I believe. I did a second person tone of voice. I think I did auto style and I believe that was it. And then I used this custom outline right here. So you'll see with the custom outline, you can have a common format. So in the custom outline, I said, I want an H2 called design. So it gave us an H2 for each of these called design. You'll appreciate the Shure SM7B's dynamic cartridge and air suspension shock isolation design. You'll love the stylish retro design of the Logitech Blue Ice USB microphone. So we have our H2 for that. We have our H2 for performance. We have our product specifications. We have our pros and cons. Now, this is a transition paragraph because below it, we have two H3s. Again, to do an H3, you would have one dash, a minus sign, and then a space, and then your H3. If you want to do an H4, you'd have two minus signs, although an H4 must follow an H3. You can't just have an H4 following an H2. Pros and cons. So here's our H3 pros, H3 cons, H3 pros, H3 cons, and then FAQs. And this is, so this is an actual, I just put a heading in here. I didn't use the FAQ checkbox down here. You'll, if you really want FAQs, you'll probably get better mileage with something like this. But if you do use, if you do use this, then it, you can't have the FAQs that this generates appear inside of here, it would always appear at the end of here. So just keep that in mind. But I had to do some FAQs. And then I had a, a section called final verdict. I also disabled the conclusion. If you don't disable the conclusion, you'll also it will end up generating a conclusion after this too. But you can you know, disable that and then have whatever you want at the end of that too. So that's very basic. That's a very basic custom outline. Now let's amp it up a notch. And let's move on to the second example. So I've modified it a little more. I've optimized the title for design, and I've uh, added the YouTube video. I've optimized the title for performance, added the YouTube video, product specs, I optimized it, and I added a table. And then everything else is the same, although for the pros and cons, I told it to prompt the AI to write a list. So let's open up 
let's see, this is this SM7B. Let's open up this one right here. All right, so we have, go back up to the top and compare. So this is both for the SM7B and microphone. So original article, we had design. Here's our design. But then we added the variable optimized title. That's the variable in curly brackets. You can read all about this in the directions. Read the directions. Look at my previous training video. So it optimized the title. So instead of design, it said design and features. All right. Then we said we want a YouTube video. So it went out to the internet. You need scrape out for that also. And it found us a YouTube video, which I love. I just love going to these YouTube videos because they're actually relevant. So it found us a YouTube video called how to set up the Shore SM7B for beginners. Awesome. Great way to boost your relevance and your page on time for this article. All right. Performance, proximity effect. So you'll be pleased to know that the SM7B has low proximity effect due to its extended metal grill. This means that when you're recording vocals, you won't get the usual bass heavy sound due to the closeness of the mic. Cool. Now it, it focused a little bit more. So we optimized the title because it said performance optimized title. So it, it focused more on this proximity effect, whereas over here, it's just a general performance. It's still relevant over here, but you'll have to realize maybe that you like this more. Maybe you like the basic, the non-optimized title, or maybe you like the optimized title. Because if we generate this again, we'll get something different. All right, so you just have to figure out what you like more. Product specs, we have our markdown table that was generated because we said, give us a table. And then also we optimize the title. So product specifications and features. Nothing fancy, but it, it did something. It did change it a little bit. And then we asked for a list in the pros and the cons. So it gave us a, a list in the pros. It didn't give us a list in the cons. Now, ZimWriter did prompt the AI to write a list, but sometimes the AI decides it doesn't want to play nice and doesn't want to write that list. Is that a deal breaker? No, you just don't have a list. You can either be okay with that, or you can add a list using a magic command, or you could just generate this using a, a higher performance model like GPT-4, but then the price goes up, obviously. So that's the second example. Let's load up the third example now. So now I wanted to see, I'm playing with this a little bit. You're going to have to play with this a lot to understand what it does and how it works for your specific situation, because there's a limitless number of use cases. I wanted to see if having an FAQ section, I could, because over here, like here's the FAQs, I could actually have it write H3s and then title those H3s as an actual question. So I said FAQs, here's an H3 op, uh, question, and then I said optimize the title. Here's an H3 question, optimize title. Let's see what happens. So question, streaming performance. So that's what it did. It didn't say, what's the streaming performance of this microphone? It just said question streaming performance. So my mileage did vary with that question. I got a second question for streaming performance again, question recording quality. Now that's the SM7B. I believe when I did the snowball, it was different, or maybe it was the same. Let's see. So this is same outline, but the different, the other product, that blue ice snowball or blue snowball ice. So mouse, so it said mouse button question. So instead of saying question colon mouse button, it says mouse button question. So I'm like, I'm not getting the questions that I wanted. So I generated another one. And I said, this time, I'm not going to put the H3s in. I'm going to have the AI do it. So I said, auto H3 four, give me four H3s. So here are the results. Here's the SM7B article. So we'll scroll down. So we actually have a question with the question mark, ideal vocal range suitable for podcasting, need for external preamp, package concerns addressed, valid, valid FAQs. But now realize, now that's the SM7B, same outline, but this is the blue snowball down here. The title didn't really become a question. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but just realize even with the same outline, your mileage can vary because if you're giving the AI freedom to do some different things, you're not always going to get exactly what you intend in your mind. So there's a lot of playing around with this that you'll need to need to figure out. So I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about how to use this custom outline feature for Amazon posts or different types of product posts. If you have 
different niches that you'd like me to work on with this and see if the custom outline could also apply, drop a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to make a video on that and see if we can come up with a custom outline uh, that would fit your needs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please drop a comment down below. There's a link to ZimWriter and all kinds of goodies in the description. And if I don't talk to you again, good luck with your content generation. I'll talk to you later.